Hi, my name is Stephen Pope and I'm the Amazon guy. Um, if you need help with consulting on anything related to Amazon, you can contact me at myamazonguy.com slash contact. Today I'm going to be going over storefront UTM tracking codes and links. And I think that it's, it's really interesting to see some of the tools that Amazon has started to add so that you as a marketer can better gauge the external traffic that you push to your storefront. So, so first of all, um, I'm talking about storefronts, and so I own a brand called Monster. So my vanity URL is amazon.com slash monster. And so we have recently, uh, so I sell a bunch of glassware. So here's an example of one of the glasses I sell. It's, you know, it's been a long day, right? Nice, heavy, thick beer glass. And on screen here, you can see the main storefront page. I've created a sub page for each one of these products. That's key to today's discussion and lesson uh, because we're going to send external traffic to each of these independently. So basically, um, I've created, quote unquote, a landing page using my storefront with a dedicated single product. So I've got the product listed here. I've got all the information and some supporting um, you know, lifestyle type wording and whatnot. So at the top here, you're going to notice there's a code that shows the storefront page. Okay. So if you would like to start tracking your sales from external sources that you push into Amazon, this is a great technique to do that. So to get here, go to advertising, excuse me, go to stores, manage stores, go to view insights. In the View Insights section, you're going to see Create Source Tag as a button. And in here, the destination drop-down, you can choose which page you want to push them to. So if I wanted to push them to my O oh for Fox Sake page, then I could say, hey, I'm going to be doing a Facebook campaign in March. And in the, the bottom here, I've got a link. This link right here is now coded for channel equals Facebook March. So if I wanted to switch this every month to kind of gauge my campaign results, or maybe I'm going to be really super granular and I'm going to say Facebook uh, campaign one on 320, whatever, it doesn't matter. So you get the idea. You can customize this link to be whatever you want. Um, so then when you're creating an ad pushing traffic into Facebook, um, sorry, from Facebook into Amazon, then you post this link as the landing page. So when I load this landing page right here, Loads the same page as I was on as if I had typed Amazon.com slash monster and clicked on the O for Fox sake page. Um, but in this instance, um, it's coded and we now know which campaign or channel it came from. So why does this matter? Why would I care about this? Well, as a, as a marketer, some, some, one of the old jokes in the marketing industry is that, you know, half of all my marketing money is wasted, but I don't know which half. Well, tracking and, and, Sourcing your information has been the answer to that conundrum. So uh, <clears throat> if you wanted to test whether Facebook or Reddit was a better external platform to drive traffic for you, you could create a uh, UTM code for Facebook, one for Reddit, run the campaign simultaneously to the same page, and be able to gauge your results. Without this, you're, you're basically having to do this manually by guessing. Well, the problem with that is, is you've got advertising campaigns within Amazon's ecosystem, you have organic sales, and then you're also doing all of your external sources. So the more sophisticated you get as a seller, the harder it is to track your results. Now, obviously, if you run an ad in a magazine, you see a spike of 1,000 traffic on a day, you're going to know the magazine brought that traffic in. But if you're testing all of these different platforms back and forth, um, having this coded tracking is super valuable. So, so that really is as basic as what you need to do. Um, so just to recap, you're going to go to your store page. View Insights. When you get to the View Insights, click this top right Create Source tag and select the page you're going to drop them to and then copy and paste that there. Now, if you're just getting started on Amazon and you don't have a brand store page, first thing you need is a trademark. I cover a lot of information on getting started in other videos. You need a trademark. You're going to register your trademark at brandservices.amazon.com. Once it's registered, then you need to make a storefront. Um, we make storefronts for $500, um, so if you have your brand registry in place, you just need somebody to go in there and help make a brand store. We have all that figured out. We've built you know, probably more than 30 store pages in the last year, um, so we're very competent and we do that all the time. And then if you want help creating um, UTM links, I'm happy to help you with that as well or run some of those marketing campaigns. You can connect with me by going to myamazonguy.com slash contact. 
and then simply fill out this form and we'll get in touch with you. Thanks so much for watching.